Ditch the fairy tale, princess. It's time to step outside the status quo and blaze your own trail. The path littered with setbacks, successes, and newfound passions. Why? Because when you break away from the script, you start to pursue a life by choice. One that is all yours. Live unscripted and rewrite your life. Ooh, today's quickie is going to be good. I promise you that. I got a text from a restaurant that I made a reservation at, and they sent me a confirmation text that I have to read and share with you because while I agreed with it, I wondered how many people didn't agree with it. And I thought maybe we could have that chat here together today on this podcast because honestly, it's one of those things that I don't even think about. And I wonder if it's something that may be holding you back in your life and your business. So find yourself in the story and see if you can't connect with the message I'm trying to share with sharing this with you. Okay, here is, I'll just read it for context of what this restaurant wrote me. It says, hey, it's the blah, blah, blah team. So whatever the restaurant name, we are looking forward to having you for dinner in order to support the celebratory environment. We kindly request that all our guests dress business casual or better. Dress shorts are permitted. Please no caps, flip-flops, athletic sandals, athletic or cargo shorts, active wear, or sweats. If your attire doesn't meet or exceed these guidelines, you may not be permitted. Please respond yes to confirm your reservation. In the event that you are no longer able to join us, please reply no, and you will be charged $20 per person for a cancellation fee. So why did I want to do a podcast episode on this? Well, because there are certain things that set people apart in business. And I think we are now in the era of casual, right? We, we've got this huge break from the shutdown and closure, and so many people are getting to work from home, meaning you know, casual on the bottom, work attire on the top, whatever, whatever that looks like for you. And maybe you're not. Maybe you're back to, back to work in person, and you don't get the choice of wearing sweatpants to work and no bra. But what I've noticed is I know fashion trends are leaning more towards athleisure wear and tennis shoes and baggy clothes and things that are maybe not quote unquote professional, right? Not things that you would wear to the bank. Let's just use the bank as an example. They all have to wear suits and ties and slacks and all the things. And I'm just referencing the bank because my boyfriend works for the bank. So I get to see that firsthand of the, what I call stuffy attire that I feel like they are forced to wear. But imagine if you walked into that same bank and the person who was going to help you make financial decisions about what you should do with your money was wearing sweatpants and maybe tennis shoes that maybe they're cool tennis shoes, maybe they're not. And he wasn't very kept and his face hadn't been shaved and his hair looked like maybe it was unwashed. And, you know, you get the point. I'm using an extreme example, right? Obviously, if you show up looking homeless, a lot of restaurants will still let you in. But it is the notion that if you want to become the person, we've got to step into that version of the person. And so a lot of you are looking to up-level your life, your business, make changes when it comes to how you're showing up every single day. And whether that's health and, health and fitness goals in the beginning of the year, like we are now, or if it's just in the way that you want to be perceived, even by yourself, right? Because how good do we feel when we put on a nice face of makeup, we do our hair, and we put on an outfit that we just feel like a million bucks in? You straight up feel like you could take over the world. You feel th- two inches taller. It's it's just a feeling. And I don't even think I have to elaborate on that anymore. And so probably most of you are agreeing with my theories and what I'm sharing. But there's a lot of times where we don't get the results that we want. And sometimes we have to be really critical of ourselves, which really just is bringing awareness to the situation. What version of ourselves did we show up in order to to do the thing. And so what's cool about using, you know, dressing nice as an example is, are you doing things too casually to grow and scale your business at the high level maybe you want to do? Are you showing up too casually in your relationship, hoping to have a high level partnership? Are you not showing up high level enough as a parent and just casually parenting? I mean, see how you can use this analogy kind of for anything what would be the equivalent of putting on a suit for a meeting, right? What version of you would you have to show up in order to have that conversation, that meeting, that talk? If you want to be a high-level coach, if you want to have an amazing podcast, do you think 
dressing the part, meaning getting prepared for that podcast episode, putting in time and effort to really make it known that you did what was needed in order to bring the best version of yourself out. So I know this is a weird example, but I also feel like it is so relative to the times, meaning with the casually casualness of texting and emails not even being proper form anymore before when you got an email, it was very formal. It was like, dear so-and-so, comma, proper spacing, paragraph, and then sincerely or something, some sort of like proper finish. Now we write emails all the time with three-letter words like LOL and thanks. You can't even write the whole word thanks, right? Not thank you. You had to put THX. So where are you showing up maybe a little too casual in order to get a high-level result? How could you possibly be putting out a high-level thing in order to get a better result. So I I think this is a perfect opportunity at the beginning of the year to take a good hard look at the way that you are showing up and is it resulting in in the things that you say you want with the better relationships with people and the the high level of way you run your business and and the way that you're attracting new clients and speaking to them. You know, when you put out low level energy or I'm not trying that hard energy, you're going to get back that same energy. So why don't we all challenge ourselves to embody that highest version of ourselves? What does she look like? How does she act? What does she say? How is she showing up? You know, being really responsible for the energy that you bring into a room rather than waiting to be responded to, right? You start with that. So I think that looks like you know, leaving your shit at the door when you walk in at the, at, to the office. It's when you're coming home from work, possibly leaving all that bullshit at work and coming home and allowing your family to have the best version of you and the best experience with you. I mean, how much more are you going to enjoy that versus bringing all that shit in the door with you? So I think having these hard conversations, even with other people in our lives, if, if they're, say, our spouses or our partners, even a boss that maybe shows up that's not as high level as you would like, we sometimes need our leaders to do that for us and in our community. So how could you have that empathetic, hard conversation with somebody saying, hey, I need you to show up as a better version of yourself in order for me to do the same, right? So I think food for thought, I think this was a great topic and subject to like bring to your awareness. And I hope if you're out for your walk or maybe you're taking a shower or maybe you're folding laundry or driving to work, I just, what's that high level version of you that you can show up with today to feel more in control of the energy you're putting out there, right? Show up with that best foot forward. And if it has to be your business casual best, like let's just put that analogy on and tag me in that next moment where you feel like a bad bitch. I want you to take a screenshot of yourself or a selfie and I want you to tag unscripted the podcast and tell me what that vibe is that you're feeling when you're rolling out like that. I mean, there's no better feeling than that. And y'all know what I'm talking about. So girl, trust me when I say there is a next level version of you waiting to be unlocked, unleashed. And I can't wait to see her. So tag me please. So I can give you that little hand clap back. Okay. I see you. Creating this podcast is as much fun as it sounds, and it's not hard. You're worthy of sharing your expertise with the world. So I've broken it down so you can start your own damn podcast in four weeks or less. Head to the link in the show notes to start now.